ProPublica uncovered this audio here that I think is important for people to hear because um, abortion, according to exit polls, number one issue for a lot of voters in this country. And um, Democrats need to take this opportunity to, and yes, they've lost the House, we understand this, but use this in their state legislator, legislature victories, um, use this in their future elections as a way to turn out voters, but also act. State legislatures have to make sure that they're active in codifying abortion rights. Um, because when you hear this kind of audio, and this is a call between Tennessee state legislators and anti-choice uh, lobbyists, including someone named Will Brewer, who's the legal counsel for an organization called uh, Tennessee Right to Life, you, you just hear the urgency that they act with in uh, taking away people's right to choose what they want to do with their own bodies, people who can get pregnant. Um, this is people conspiring against your rights. Right. And, and, and you know, the, I've said this many times before, but I like to repeat it because it, it encapsulates so much of, of this, you know, moment in our history in, in regards to the Republican Party is that they are a minoritarian the theocratic party. And they understand that. They understand that they're not operating with like the will of the people behind their backs. And so they act with the respective urgency that you would expect of that. And that means cutting corners, breaking rules, not caring uh, about norms and people's feelings and polling numbers. And that makes them a formidable opponent <laughs> because they're, they don't, they're, you know, going no holds barred um so here's some of this audio uh that propublica was able to obtain i want to, to emphasize that now is the time to continue to play offense uh we were handed a victory by the supreme court and this state was ready because we've been playing offense for, for so long and we put ourselves in a position to be in control of this issue uh, preemptively and so we need to continue to play offense we need to continue to play offense. Um, there, there was another uh, like part of that audio in that thread. Maybe uh, if you can scroll down, uh, Bradley, you can the the part about IVF. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they broke this up into so many pieces, but um, the the this part here is uh, one one of the people speaking in this call, um, telling lawmakers that. Next up is the regulation of potentially uh, IVF and contraception. Yeah. But that they don't want to have that conversation right now. So this is just, again, instructive about how they operate. And this is, uh, I'll, I'll also just say, contrast with how the Democrats uh, 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 pursued their goals. You, this is how you actually get things done is you have to be on the offense and mm -hmm. go for them. You mm -hmm. can't maintain. Yeah. And so this is Stephen Billy, the vice president of state affairs for the Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America uh, Foundation. Okay, gotcha. And maybe your caucus gets to a point next year, two years from now, three years from now, where you do want to talk about IVF and how to regulate it in a more ethical way or deal with some of the contraceptive issues. Um, but I don't think that that's the conversation that you need to have now. I would not recommend having it now in the context of your current political law. And maybe your caucus gets to a point. Okay, that was it. Yeah. And so, I mean, then there's other parts of this call where they say, you know, try to connect abortion to breast cancer risk and other health risks, right? You know, is it going to, which is, Obviously, which is what they're trying to do with uh, puberty blockers and trans mm -hmm. kids now. Yeah, uh, oh, fear mongering about potential other health ramifications. Yeah, let's listen to that part too. This is, this is another, lobbyist too. another lobbyist speaking here. I mean, I encourage you to hide behind the skirts of women. Usually that phrase is used as a pejorative. It's usually used 
as a way to you know say maybe don't do that kind of thing but they're saying yeah, no act like low no. dignity yeah that. please as engage in to, like this. a great strategy yeah right but frankly i mean this is the problem with leaving this kind of vacuum it's not enough just to have a population of like 65 to 70 percent of people whatever poll you look at who support abortion rights that's not enough you have to take actions and you have to you have to combat their urgency with urgency on your end because that's what they're doing right they're saying it right there we want to come after ivf treatments for fertility for people who are unable to naturally maybe conceive or not naturally but need help conceiving and other purposes of course but like when you're going after ivf and contraception what what that means is that we want to eliminate procedures that have one women have uh, and people who can get pregnant have uh having more agency over their own health care and two any process by which pregnancy comes in a way that's unnatural in god's law if you're doing ivf aren't you playing god if you have fertility issues and you're trying to go to your doctor and try to get pregnant i i feel still like there is not a, a full understanding of the warped mentality and not just the mentality but the er, the call to action that these people are operating with and this yeah. is happening in state legislatures across the country we took a big step forward in these recent months and in these midterms with kansas with uh, vermont codifying abortion with kentucky uh and and the ballot measures there and other states across the country we did take steps forward but this is an ongoing process i mean it's these freaks are going after the pill right yeah <laughs> like that they uh and and y you can tell like the way he says like hide behind the skirts and challenge them to uh show that this is actually beneficial to women the idea that they want to go back to a time before women could uh you know have contraception yeah, uh, because if, if the man decides it's time for me to impregnate Gonna you, bring that back. that's time. And that's why, again, rape and in incest exemptions are such like crap. They're, they're unenforceable for one, but two, they, there's a reason that rape is not uh, a, a crime that's proven often with police work. It's because, one, it's a crime where there's two people involved, but two, like, these theocrats and these conservatives in these areas of the country, they're, like, n not that concerned about rape either. Because all the, what they see is sex from the male perspective and impregnation from uh, being something that the man chooses and decides and that's why they're going after something like ivf or contraception yeah i mean i, I was watching a documentary on the um falwell uh, jr i know i wrote that down i wanted to watch that when you said and yeah it was, it was there's good. a propublica article the liberty way how liberty university discourages and dismisses students uh, reports of sexual assaults i mean it's a microcosm of the world that these freaks want to create